We are on tenacity. Woohoo! Bum, <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm getting away from my, I'm getting away from my part. I, I, let me make a safe space for Janine. I'm holding space for you, Janine. I'm sorry, I just got a little excited about, about this whole tenacity thing. Okay, what's going on now? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, this is where you use, okay, the vision, the composure, the reasoning, and you get to tenacity. And you're like, yes, I can do this. This is about bouncing back learning from your experiences, perseverance, realistic optimism, not uh, toxic positivity. We don't want that because that is not going to help us. Um, but we're looking at things realistically in a in a holistic manner. We're looking at the negatives that we're going to encounter, but also the really strong growth, amazing things that can actually happen. So realistic optimism without toxic positivity or toxic negativity. You know, toxic negativity is going to drag us down too. So we got to, that's how, what this phase is all about. Looking at things realistically, staying motivated, persistence, commitment, overcoming obstacles, overcoming mistakes, stopping the self-judgment, stopping those limiting beliefs that we say to ourselves, that negative chatter in our heads that we all have, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> And time management is also in this domain, which is kind of surprising, but it's learning how to use your time to, um, there's this concept called flow out there. I'm sure you know about it, Rhonda, and I'm sure you do too, April. Being no, in the I, world, no so. this is new. This is flow out there. What, is, what does that mean? So flow is about getting in this zone where you're super productive. And so scheduling your time during the day where you're going to get the hardest tasks done in that flow period, no distractions, no emails, no phone, no dogs. Um, you may hear my dog snoring in the background, um, but nothing to distract you from that flow and scheduling that into your day. So you get the most done during that day. Mm. Yeah. So there's toxic Pot, would you call it not positive but there's toxic something that was very interesting it said it felt like a dichotomy because it was mm -hmm. like being real but it was toxic real. what was the term that you used there that was very interesting because i can see where you're just like way up here and not really looking at things rea in reality well what, what was that that you used what was that term um well realistic optimism is the component of ten tenacity uh -huh. but it's about avoiding toxic positivity and toxic negativity. It's about being in the middle, you know, looking at the pros and cons of all situations and the obstacles you're going to overcome, but trusting yourself to get through them. Mm -hmm. Maintaining hope, maintaining perseverance and commitment to your goals, not at a, a level where it's destroying you or your relationships or anything like that, but realistic. Yeah. Not up here in the toxic positivity and not down here in the toxic negativity, but realistic optimism. I got that now. So I'm such a visual person. So I get what you're saying. Yeah, because um, I think there can be uh, some space there where everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything is just perfect. But you can also show up that way for um, when you're in the middle, like someone's going to grab it and know that you're like up here, which is like, oh my gosh, you know, that doesn't, that's not realistic. And I think I've seen where you get even nervous because you're just so in yeah. that toxicity of, of thinking like everything is perfect. And so there's something that you are creating around you to make sure this is my bubble and that th this is real, right? And everybody else is like, no, that's not real. You know, this is kind of, it's kind of toxic showing up like that because you're not relaxed and it's uncomfortable it's like it holds your energy um in all different ways when you're hanging out with somebody like that or you're doing it yourself i feel like we've all been there where yeah. you're like oh you just want to leave this world in a way that you're like I, I just can't handle it anymore so for a moment i'm going to pretend like everything is good yeah. but then it's like that feeling that jittery feeling like that adrenaline that get you tired and so you were talking about burnout and those different things so i could see this area being 
a leaky like energy of, of burnout. Fresh.